Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work with Word, and I want to show you how to do mail merge when you are extracting from an Access database that already exists. So let me start Microsoft Word first, and let me change the view a little bigger there. Okay, and at this point, I can launch my mail merge wizard, which is go underneath, go up to mail links, and start mail merge and the bottom choice is step-by-step -step mail merge wizard which is very helpful when you're a beginner when you click on that the panel shows up on the right side and today we're going to do letters and it's step-by-step -step, so just go down at the bottom and say step one of six and then we want to go next starting document and we're going to use the current document and the next step is select recipients and I'm going to have to make a choice here between use an existing list which means you're pulling from some access database that already exists or you want to type a brand new list which I showed that one in another video um, today we're going to use an existing list and with that it's going to give me the browse button so I'm, I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to go back where I know that I have this small access database uh, stored to show as an example piece and uh, this one we'll use the Mountain Animal Hospital one and I already have quite a few queries it, at this point it shows up all the queries you've already built for that particular database or that has been built for that database plus we have just tables here for pets and uh, customer and I have one here that I use as an example piece called Outstanding Balance because I want to um, send letters out and this was something would be something that an office manager would do for all customers who have an outstanding balance not everybody obviously just the ones who owe money so we'll say okay to outstanding balance that particular query that's already been done in access and it ties this document in with this particular query that's in access you can see I have city state zip code customer name street all that um, last visit date, outstanding balance, and these are the fields, the key fields I'm going to need um, when I go in to um, build the letter. Because when you write these, you need to write the letter and then look at the data that you have, look at the fields that you have to work with and, and construct a letter that's going to take advantage of those particular fields. Alright, so I could um, also click on this and edit. I can uncheck certain records if I if they really don't have a balance. Let me look at uh, the outstanding balance. Now it won't put the dollar sign on there. Um, obviously I've done this query to where I only have people that owe money. So if they you know, have a zero balance I don't want their names to show. But if they did I could just go over here and uncheck it by their um, name for instance. So they would not get a letter. Alright so let me just say OK on this one. So that database now is tied in, or that query is tied in from the database to this particular letter. And um, we can have our letterhead and address all up here, of course. And this, let me go down to where we'll just insert a date. We'll just insert date and time to be quick about it. And, and then we'll have customer name field go in. To do that, go back to mailings and you have this insert merge field tool right here and you can click on that and it gives you all the merge fields that you had in that particular query and we have customer name I'll have that one first and I'll hit enter and I next need street address or street apartment in this case hit enter city state and zip I gotta make sure I have my um, punctuation and my spacing in there so um, I'll do city first and then comma, space, go up to insert merge field again, do state, and then two spaces, and then zip code. And enter a couple times. I can start typing dear, and then I have another field, customer name. Normally you'd have first name, last name. Uh, in this case, there's a lot of commercial customers, so it fits. And don't forget your punctuation. Hit enter twice, go down, start your paragraph.
Now I'm going to put the dollar sign in because it did not show up in the access part. And I'm going to put the outstanding balance field in here. Period, space, space, and then start the next sentence. And the next is last visit date, so we'll insert that in there. So obviously you have to pay attention to your data fields to know how to construct your letter. And then we want the customer sense um, field up there. There it is. And finish out our letter. We'll just do it block style today. Today, you're, yeah, today we can be an office manager for this one. And let's just run through it and see how it looks. Like I said, some of these are commercial customers, so it's more like pet shop names and things like that. So we'll go down to our steps at the bottom of the right panel. Next, write your letter. We did that. Preview your letters is the next step, so we'll go clear, do that. And you can see how it's put all this in here. Our records indicate you have a balance due of $2,000. And last visit for your pets was on 826. I mean you could go on and say for this particular pet, I mean which we had that in the fields I believe, and the contact number and we value the relationship we have enjoyed with you since and it puts that particular date in for member since or customer since that particular date. Okay. Again on step five you can click through and see how each letter does. Of course the first three are the same company but it goes into other people with other amounts as we go through it. So that just gives you an idea of how that works. Uh, obviously the next step would be to complete the merge once you're happy with it. And uh, you can either print them out or edit individual letters. If there's something you need to you know, correct on just one of them, you can do it like that. If something's wrong on all of them, it's very easy to just go back in your merge and um, work with that a bit. Okay, And that's where We'll end it today, and that's how to do a mail merge in Word uh, using a query or table from an Access database. Thank you.